Good morning, and welcome back to the Risk Five Summit. I'm Patrick Little, CEO of Sci Five. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to all of you today at this virtual event. The CPU industry is more exciting now than at any time I can remember. I think the energy and the interest around Risk Five is definitely one of the main drivers. The Sci Five leadership team is here at the summit this week to talk about a broad range of Risk Five topics. We'll be discussing everything from vector extensions to trust zone compatibility to verification to how we're going to build out the Risk Five ecosystem together. But I'd like to begin with a brief discussion about how we as a community can work together in collaboration to drive Risk Five into the future and to take this platform to the next level, to take it from good to great. A good place to start is with the incredible market opportunity ahead of us. These are amazing times in technology and market demand is not something I lose a lot of sleep over these days. The hyper growth in embedded endpoints, the expansion of AI from the data center to the edge, these things are disrupting old assumptions and shifting our industry away from general purpose computing. There's definitely a technology dislocation underway in our industry. Next generation computing performance demands application specific solutions that are highly optimized, domain specific, workload tuned. This dynamic is opening the door for computing alternatives that can deliver optimized value to efficiently solve very specific compute challenges. This is the market opportunity the Risk Five community has been waiting for and the one that we need to take our game to the next level. It's fair to say that I may be biased, but I believe that Risk Five is perfectly suited to tackle the next generation computing challenges. Starting with a lightweight base and adding powerful extensions enables Risk Five to deliver a flexible combination of performance, power, and area efficiency. It enables the configurability needed to optimize domain-specific computing solutions. Its free and open standard is driving large-scale adoption through a growing community of contributors and developers. Risk Five offers community leverage and broad reuse not easily achieved with proprietary solutions. Its openness ensures neutrality and prohibits the proprietary lock-in that many customers are increasingly concerned about today. It's clear that momentum around Risk Five is accelerating and it's well positioned to be a dominant force in computing for decades to come. The Risk V community is also hitting an inflection point. Foundation membership is growing strongly across all groups, from research to chip companies to software and even system developers. Membership is growing across the globe with members in 50 countries now. Our broad community is our strength and our unique competitive advantage. We all benefit as the community continues to grow and new members contribute to our ranks. It's also incredibly encouraging to see the strong progress in the RISC-V software ecosystem. A healthy, diverse software ecosystem is critical to our mutual success. A mix of open source and commercial solutions is needed to meet the needs of different markets and customers who may have different requirements in terms of support and security and licensing. This is clearly one of RISC-V's most profound challenges but will also be one of our most powerful advantages at full scale. In fact, Sci-5 has made it a top priority to enable the RISC-V software ecosystem. We've upstreamed RISC-V support for critical software infrastructure such as GCC, LLVM, Linux kernel, and free RTOS, just to name a few. We've also produced development boards with RISC-V Silicon so that developers can develop, prototype, test, and port their software to the RISC-V platform. In 2018, Sci-5 released Hi5 Unleashed, the first Linux-capable RISC-V development board. Just recently in 2020, we released Hi5 Unmatched, our latest RISC-V development platform in a standard PC form factor that software developers could easily adopt and integrate into their workflows. The result is that support for RISC-V architecture has spread and the interest has moved well beyond academia now. Our work isn't finished yet and there's much more to come. Our CTO, Yunsip Lee, will discuss what's next during his ecosystem presentation later in the summit. This is the High 5 Unmatched Risk v development board that I just mentioned. It's a key enablement platform that streamlines Risk v Linux development on a PC form factor that software developers are familiar and comfortable with. It's powered by the Sci-5 Freedom U740, a high-performance, multi-core, 64-bit, dual-issue, superscalar Risk v processor one of our highest performing cores to date. Built for developers and based on their feedback, this board is now available on Mauser or CrowdSupply. And it's incredibly encouraging that we just can't make enough of these. 
And so hopefully this board will be one of the plat key platforms to really opening up the software development effort and growing our ecosystem. At the end of the day, it comes down to customer adoption. That's the real proof point. That's the ultimate validation of our hard work. I'm proud to say that customers from every region, every vertical, and nearly every application are taking a strong interest in Risk V. Customer adoption momentum is clearly on the rise. And as I mentioned earlier, customer demand is not the pacing item for our growth. For example, in FPGAs, Microchip recently announced their Polarfire SOC, which has a hardened quad-core Sci-5 application processor on board. In wearables, Huami announced a smartwatch health tracker powered by Sci-5's RISC-V core. Huami is part of the Xiaomi group, and they're selling in huge volumes now. In Bluetooth Wi-Fi, our RISC-V cores are used as the main controller in low-power Wi-Fi Bluetooth BLE devices. Buffalo is one of the customers that announced their solution publicly, but there are many others using Sci-5 in this category. In storage, industry leaders like Western Digital have developed RISC-V storage solutions, and we also see innovative companies like Fadu and Integrate focus on computational storage using Sci-5 solutions. Synaptics is using Sci-5 for docking stations, and Inovium is using us in their switches. Our cores are being used in image signal processing and dedicated camera ISP chips for mobile. We're used inside multiple photonics controllers. We're used in security subsystems, robotics, satellites, AR, VR, and smart city cameras. It's encouraging to see that RISC-V is being adopted in nearly every embedded application, but now is the time to move to higher value, higher performance solutions. Together we delivered good, and we should be incredibly proud of our progress and achievement. But now the time has come to make RISC-V great. The way we get there is to complement the embedded successes that I just talked about with higher performance solutions that can capture the heart and the nucleus of the major compute platforms. We also need to deliver the domain-specific optimizations that will allow us to deliver application-specific value in these compute platforms. We need to continuously build and strengthen and broaden our software ecosystem. And very importantly, we need many of these customers that I just talked about to become outspoken advocates of RISC-V. Many of them have not announced. We need them to step out to help us perpetuate the market momentum. And then finally, and very importantly, we need continued capital investment and certainly our secret weapon, collaboration across our community. For RISC-V to become great, we have to capture the nucleus of the major compute platforms in our industry. We're already participating in most of these platforms with our embedded solutions, but now we need to deliver the higher performance application optimized cores to power these systems. Every one of the major compute domains is going through their own upheaval right now. Every one of them needs highly optimized application specific solutions to effectively compete. Mobile and endpoint devices need increasingly better performance per watt. Automotive needs functional safety to realize the path to autonomous driving. 5G Open RAN will need our vector extensions and high performance compute in the data center requires support for virtualization. The challenges are substantial, but so are the rewards. As I mentioned earlier, the time is right for computing alternatives that can deliver optimized value and freedom of choice. There is nothing about the RISC-V platform that limits our ability to achieve this together. So let's pull together and make it happen. I've always liked the simplicity and bluntness of this quote from Andy Warhol. They always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. I'm inspired by his practicality and impatience. Simply put, we can't wait for the industry to change and come to us. We have to go out with a high sense of urgency and make it happen together. I've been saying this to myself since the day I started Sci-5. Don't miss the moment. You know, I learned early in my career that market share changes hands during technology dislocations. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now as general purpose compute platforms no longer get the job done. Next generation compute leadership is going to require application specific value to be constructed. Value is being defined right now in our industry. The opportunity for risk five is perfect. Now is our time to enable a new era of processing excellence and choice through open standard collaboration. It all started here. Community collaboration is our foundational strength. 
It's our secret weapon and our sustainable competitive advantage. It's why RISC-V will still be standing long after many of the other proprietary architectures have faded away. What we have is a virtuous cycle of a free and open architecture that encourages broad community contribution and enables the greatest commercial products to solve the industry's most difficult challenges. The combination is amazing and ultimately unbeatable. I wanted to close by thanking you all for participating in the RISC-V Summit. Uh, I'm new to the community, so I'm really looking forward to the chance to meet many of you personally. Uh, I also want to encourage you to try out Sci-5's core designer or become part of a RISC-V working group or to port an application to RISC-V. Just grab one of our new unmatched boards and get started. Uh, together, we're going to hoist the RISC-V flag even higher than ever. Uh, thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.